we doing today, everybody? I have a team talk for you today. It is a team talk because team is here to talk to you today about the top 10 fastest bass boats. Are you ready for this one? Top 10 fastest bass boats. Now, Nitro didn't make the list. I'll let all you guys know right away that Nitro did not make the list. So um, Nitro's not gonna win this one. So uh, the top 10 fastest bass boats. Uh, I think we're gonna, we went back, we went back some time, so. Um, and we did, we went on the internet, we got a lot of speed stuff, we got a lot of documented speed stuff, not just John Smith saying that he does 140 miles an hour going down the river in his f***ing Tidecraft with his 150 XP, we didn't go by that guy. We went by documented, really legit stuff here, people, legit stuff. So. Um, I had a top 10, we just went with the real top 10. So we went with that one. So here you go, are you ready? The top 10 fastest bass boats in a team talk comes to you right, by the way, hey, just take a time out here. Everybody listen, are you listening? Make sure you comment, subscribe, and click notification bell on this one, all right? Make sure we get some info. I know you guys are gonna comment on this one because there's gonna be somebody that says they got the world's fastest boat and that they, yeah. I mean, when your hair looks like that after all these years, you've gone fast in boats. I've gone fast in boats, okay? I get it, all right, now we're doing it. You ready? Top 10 fastest bass boats, team talk coming to you right now. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna start at number 10 because that's the way Jordan has them labeled, number 10. He wants me to start at number 10. So another thing, comment to tell me if you like these videos with the lights on or the lights off, okay? Just make sure you do that. Help me out with that. Help me out with that. Lights on, lights off. I'm not gonna tell you which one I'm on, what I'm doing, but it's just, you'll figure it out. All right, here we go. Number 10, the Bass Cat. Now, I think some people call it do they call it, what, what, is, what do they call this? Is it, uh, what is this, Jordan? Is this the Bass Cat? Eura. Eura? Or is it Eurea? What, what, I mean, Eura? Eura? I mean, there's there's so much, I mean, I've heard three or four different people, but that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna, what, what do you wanna call it, Jordan? Eura. Eura? All right, let's do that. We're gonna call it the Bass Cat Eura. All right, um, the 20 foot two, it's a low to mid 80s mile an hour boat. Now I think, they tested that boat loaded with a 400. Is that right? Is that this boat with the 400? Oh, that was a Jag. Damn it, I thought I was gonna get into something. Uh, but it is a mid 80s low, let's just say it's a guaranteed low 80s boat with a 250, with a 250 Merc on the back. So that's gonna be your first one. Bass Cat made the list. Number nine is the Blazer 625 Pro Elite, the 20 foot six. That's a mid 80s boat. That, that's gonna get you mid 80s with a 250 on the back. Um, now we didn't go tournament load, of course, we just went the run, all right? Get in it, batteries, the run, all right? Um, number eight, ballistic. Jim Wells is ballistic. We're the 204, the 20 foot four boat is a mid 80s boat. Um, and that's not tournament loaded. You're gonna see some differences in, in what things are from here to there, but I, I talked to Jim about it. We talked about it, um, the 204. You know, not load it up, get in it, and go mid 80s boat. So, um, and I and I, did, I sat and talked to Jim a little bit about the ballistic because I just like talking to Jim because Jim's a good guy down there at ballistic. Um, and I talked to him about you know adding batteries. It, it, are the lithiums making a difference? Uh, you know, after you load up a boat, you know the lithiums changing things. Are they doing? It? And he's like, not really. You know, and I said, what about being on plane? He's like, no, my boat gets on plane good anyway. He goes, so it's not really helping us. You're gonna gain a little bit, but not a lot. So um, it was good talking to Jim. Thank you, Jim, for taking time out and getting with me on this. Um, so that's a 204, the mid 80s boat. I think that's the tour boat. I think that's the boat you see out on tour. I think that's one Seth has, and I think that's one Lee has. I think that's their, I think they're both part of the 204. Uh, the Stratos AS, ASX. Stratos ASX was a 20 foot seven boat. It's a high 80 mile an hour boat. Um, so the ASX, I don't know if you guys know what that is, that's the Allen Stenson X Project. That's what that was. That was a fast boat. There's, there wasn't a lot of them built. I think there's a limited production on those boats, um, but that was a fast boat. It was, uh, it was fishable, it was fast. It kind of had the seats that sat low and then the fiberglass wrapped around them. You're kind of tucked in, kind of, um, kind of sports car-ish looking feel, you know, kind of gives you that, sports car feel. Um, number five, the Norris Craft 1900, uh, the XLV, 19 footer. With a 150 on it, this boat did 75 plus miles an hour, people. With a 150 on it, it did 75 plus miles an hour. With a 280 Merc, obviously hopped up, doing it's all of its stuff, 100 plus mile an hour boat. 
So we put it at five just because we can't say that you're gonna put a 280 on it. We figured most of them were gonna be around 150-ish, 200, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, so you're gonna be 75, 80, 90, high 90s. You're gonna be in that ballpark. Low 90s, it depends, but that is a low 90s boat. That's just how that boat comes out. Um, number four, Shadow. Like what I'm seeing right here, Shadow. Uh, the Shadow boat, 200 VT. It was a tunnel haul boat, it was a tunnel haul bass boat. So that kind of is cheating maybe because you're lifting faster and you're getting up out of the water. Um, but it was a low 90s boat, uh, mid 90s, so mid, low to mid 90s boat. It was a 20 foot tri haul or a tunnel haul bass boat, the Shadow boat was. It's, kind of, it's a cool looking boat. Um, maybe Jordan will get a picture of it for you. I don't know, we'll see. But it, it, it was a cool looking boat. Uh, number three, the Stroker 21. Stroker 21 was a high 90s mile an hour boat. Um, low 100s, it maybe would hit that 100. Uh, I had kind of a, there was a Stroker when I fished down in Table Rock, was it Table Rock? No, it wasn't Table Rock, it wasn't Pickwick. It was some place in Alabama we were, I can't remember what it was, but there was bars on the windows down there and wherever the hell we were. Um, but there was a stroker where the motor actually <laughs> broke off the back. It actually it blew the whole center section out, it was cool. Um, you got a lot of speed out of them, but I don't think you got a lot of ride out of them. But you stroker guys will come and comment, I know you will. Um, I'm not too familiar with Stroker. I've seen, touched, you know, worked on a couple up here, especially when, you know, guys from other areas come up here. We don't have a lot of Strokers up here. Um, so it's a 21 Stroker. It's a high 90s, low 100 mile an hour boat. So uh, that's what that puts at. Number two, Bullet, yeah, the 20 XD. The 20 foot one inch, 20 XD, a low 100 mile an hour boat. I think they did it with a 225 even, didn't they? A 225 Pro Max. I think it was a low 100 mile an hour boat, 104 or something like that, 105. Um, crazy, crazy speed. Um, that guy, at, at, at 80 miles an hour, things can go bad. At 100 miles an hour, things are really gonna be bad. Really gonna be bad. Uh, so the number one, you ready? Run number one is I know one guy right now when I say this is gonna go, God damn it, Andy. But, because he's not an Allison guy. Allison, the Allison XB202, uh, 20 foot two inch. It's a mid 100 mile an hour boat all day long. Get in it, let her eat. Um, I think if even if you don't know how to drive it, you're gonna get high 80s out of it. You're gonna have to probably drive it through the 90s and into the hundreds to learn how to drive it. But there's a lot of Allison guys out there right now that are probably like, yes, you got us up top for once. And I did, yes, you did definitely make the top spot on this. Um, you Allison guys, you got it. The XB202, uh, 20 foot, two inch, it's a mid 100 mile an hour boat. What was it? It was like one, where, where were you at with it? 106, 108, something like that. That's screaming fast. 300 hours, 110 mile an hour boat. How'd you like to spear a wave at 110? Would that be fun? I don't think so. Um, let's just say if, did I skip one? I skipped number six, I think. I think I skipped number six. Gambler. I think I skipped number six. I did. I was just looking at this, I'm like, wait, I'm missing one. I went from number seven to five. I went from Stratos to Noriscraft. Where's our guy that's telling me what number I'm on? <laughs> what the hell? I fucked it up. God damn it. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. Bass Cat comes in at number 10. The Blazer 625 Pro Elite comes in at nine. Ballistics 204 comes in at eight. Stratos, the ASX model, which stands for Alan Stenson X Project, comes in at number seven. Number six, Gambler. Props to Gambler. Um, and we went with the 209, or no, we got 2100, 20 foot seven inch. So we are using the newer Gambler, correct? No, we're using the older Gambler. The newer Gambler, if we get on that mark, I drove that boat um, and I, it was 84-ish, 82-ish all day long and with tournament stuff in it. So that's that's a stout boat, people. Um, those people out at Hat Creek right now, what they're doing with that boat and what Heath Murphy's doing with that boat and um, Scotty G's doing, that's, those people are doing things next level. Um, if you have not 
even click go, go to their Instagram just for follow them you'll see some of the coolest crap they're doing um, and they have a lot of stuff coming down the road but we went with the 20 foot 7 inch it's a low 90s boat was that with a 200 250 to what was that 250 250 okay so but I mean he spoke tournament ready the one I drove or the one that they're their test boat essentially um, that that boat we did 82 83 miles an hour all day long and he set it up to 85 so and, it, and it's not un, it doesn't feel unstable at 80 ish it feels like you can drive it you know what I mean you get that so make sure you go check out gambler and you go talk to if you're interested in it go talk to Heath Murphy give him a call the dude is a class act dude I mean top-notch dude um, definitely give him a call and then we went number five with Norscraft then we went with shadow then we went with stroker then we went with bullet and the bullet people are great people too we've talked to them a couple different times they're good people I mean they, these if I had to pick out of these people right here if you had if I if Andy personally had to pick his top five when I'm saying boat manufacturers and people that work there easy to talk to I would put basket there I would put definitely the bullet there I would put ballistic there I'd put gambler there and do I have to do another one blazer, blazer. yes for sure blazer yep basket blazer ballistic gambler bullet no order just great companies if you're looking for that bass boat that's gonna get you that top end speed, that good ride, that comfort, the high quality. These companies are using high quality equipment too, people. Not blazers, not cutting edges, ballistic. We know Jim Wells ain't cutting edges. We know Heath Murphy's not cutting edges. I was there, the bullet people have been building boats for a long time. Um, and Bass Cat's got a name. So, I mean, you know, they're not, you know, Rick Pierce isn't gonna cut any edges either. So, and, and the only reason I'm saying that is because they don't, they didn't know me. They didn't know me before this and they were willing to talk to me. The people, the CEOs, the names of that brand right, were willing to talk to me. That means a lot, that, that sets foot on, like I've always said, the reputation of what you buy. You're spending 80 to 100 grand. Yeah, okay, you can buy houses up here for that. You know what I mean? So, so I had to do a top five, we're gonna do Basket, Blazer, Ballistic, Gambler, and Bullet. Those would be top five, no order. Um, just good people, good companies, good boats. So that's what that's that'd be my top five out of these boats if I had to pick them. Um, outside of that, that's it. That's your top ten. Um, Basket, Blazer, Ballistic, Stratos, Gambler, Norscraft, Shadow, Shadow, Stroker, Bullet, and Allison are your top ten fastest boats. With the top being probably 108, 110, with the Allison and the Basket coming in around mid 80s, low to mid 80s. I'd say 82, 83, somewhere in there. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Oh wait, there's more. Are you ready? Look at this. See this? This hat right here, black, gray, red, is gonna be available on the website. I did get them in, and this hoodie is gonna be available on the website. Jordan's gonna get it up there this week, so you'll be able to go click on that hopefully by the weekend and purchase yourself some of this, and we will ship it out right away. We did have some shipping issues because we couldn't get product. We did get this in. We have. I would say 40 of these probably, different sizes, medium, uh, medium, large and extra large. These are large, extra large hats. I don't have any small mediums in yet, but that's what I have in. I have a bunch of these and I have a bunch of these. So if you want them, get over there, click, buy, purchase now, and we'll get them out to you. Jordan will tell me how many I got to ship next week. So let's get that done too. So this is available. There's your top 10. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, comment, subscribe, and click notification bell to witness the madness that I now hope everybody that has hair like that i'm going real fast in bass boats just saying speed money no brakes i'm out see ya